Back in 1993, about 13 years before we posted our first YouTube video, a TV show called Sequest DSV first hit the airwaves. It followed the adventures of a group of sailors and scientists in a futuristic submarine in the year 2018. And while the show didn't last long, many of us who grew up watching it Sunday nights on NBC remember it fondly. For years, I've wanted to build a radio-controlled version of the Sequest, but the only model that was available, the 19-inch monogram kit, was just too small. Thankfully, Bob Martin of Nautilus Dry Docks had access to the studio maquette used to produce the original Sequest, which he digitally scanned to produce a much larger version in a 3D printer. That's the model we're converting to RC, a 51-inch monstrosity unlike anything we've built before. But before we lay even one bead of glue, we've got a lot of stuff to figure out. Join us for the first of four videos covering the construction of our Sequest DSV. One of the first challenges we need to overcome is how to get inside Sequest on a regular basis. On our earlier submarine, the scratch-built model of the USS Virginia, this was pretty easy. We just cut a long, symmetrical opening into the hull and kept the plug as a hatch cover, which we sealed with tape prior to each cruise. Sequest is a little different because there are curves everywhere. Nothing's symmetrical, and while there are places to hide hatch seams, those curved lines are more difficult to cut along. Then you need to factor in the fact that this model was printed in segments, so we need to decide which sections to join before we cut the hatches and which openings to make before we do that. Then there's depth control. Our Virginia model is what's called a dynamic diver. That means it's naturally buoyant, and to submerge it needs to be moving forward so the water over its bow planes can force it to dive. Well, Sequest has no bow planes, so we're planning on making it a static diving model. That means including a depth control system that takes on water when we want the sub to submerge and blows it out when we want it to surface. Plenty of submodels do this today, but we've never worked with such a system before, so it'll be a big learning experience for us. And before we even get to that, we need to get our hands on some lead again. The Virginia model included at least 12 pounds of the stuff for ballast, and even with batteries and motors and control systems, Sequest will also need plenty of ballast to sit properly in the water. Propulsion is another puzzle. On one hand, getting Sequest to move shouldn't be too tough. A propeller that sucks in water through forward inlets and blows it out the stern is straightforward. It's what we used on Virginia. The main difference here is that Sequest's propeller will be enclosed within the hull instead of mounted outside of it. Steering, though, is something else entirely. Instead of the typical rudder and stern planes, Sequest uses four tentacle-like fins that were obviously designed more for looks than maneuvering. So we're thinking about installing two enclosed propellers, or pump jets, in the hull side by side. And when the boat is just cruising along, both drives will operate in forward mode. But when we want to turn the sub, one of the drives will be reversed, blowing water out the inlet on the side we want to turn toward and pushing the stern in the opposite direction. She won't turn on a dime, that's for sure, but she'll probably turn, we hope. Finally, there's the matter of making Sequest look like Sequest. The CGI model for the series had lots of lighted windows, spotlights, even laser-based weapons. Now, we're pretty confident we can throw enough LEDs on the hull to make her shine, and even the green lasers shouldn't be too big a problem, but that paint job is going to be tricky. It's a textured mosaic of green and blue meant to give the sense of a flexible bioskin, which is what it was on the show, and it's probably the biggest challenge we've ever encountered from a painting perspective. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that for a while yet. We're planning to launch Sequest no later than October 2016. In the meantime, let us know what you think of this project. Did you watch the show as a kid? And what do you want to see in the finished model? Drop us a line in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future updates from Rapid Nadion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.